everybody what is going on your boy HGR here back in the hidden game room we got a pickup video and this one is my I'm refilming this I don't know what happened I messed up the first one so I'm refilming this and also I've added a lot since I filmed the, the mess up of this one so it's gonna just bear with me there's a lot of stuff here I got probably 80 games to go through in this one and uh, a lot of Sega stuff so anyway let's get on with it first up I just want to point out something got any Bond fans on the channel it was weird I was out game hunting not looking for this kind of stuff but this I was in the used bookstore and somebody left this over by the games it's a uh, record Duran Duran uh, View to a Kill so I did the soundtrack uh, title track at least for View to a Kill so I thought that was pretty cool and um, so I picked that up and then I also picked up a few accessories. I'll show these first. Picked up the game, the new Game and Watch. Uh, it's got the original Super Mario Brothers on it from NES. And it's got the Lost Levels, which is Mario 2 in Japan, and it's got the Game and Watch game. And uh, it's fifty dollars at Walmart. Not a big deal. It also does a clock, so um, it's a little smaller than the originals, but it's kind of cool. Full color sound, and I had demo this on the first one, but with all the games I got this time, I'm not going to re-demo it, but anyway, I did pick that up, just wanted to kind of show you guys, it's kind of cool, um, so I did pick one of those up, but I'm not sure if it's really worth the 50 bucks, I'd probably wait till they mark it down or something, and uh, the first game that I got, um, picked this up for Mini Gamer, he loves baseball and stuff, so I got him the MLB 21 to show collector's edition it it came with a you know the special box and everything but came with the MLB show the hat um, and some digital content which is Jackie Robinson um, diamond choice pack I don't know what that is two gold choice pack ten the show packs um, one ball player equipment pack double daily rewards 25,000 stubs and then the new era MLB 950 baseball cap. And I guess there's a digital one in there also to go with the real one. So anyway, that's the newest one that I picked up. You know how I do these. I start newest to oldest, at least best I can. Oh, I forgot one thing before I get into the rest of these games. Like I said, bear with me. There's a ton of stuff here. <clears throat> I'm trying to keep it quick and simple. But also show you everything. So I picked up... A Atomic Purple original N64 controller and it also has an original memory card in it I don't know if I can get that out with my gloves Let's see. So yeah original N64 controller pack memory card that I picked up uh, pretty good deal on it so mainly with the memory card and stuff is why I bought it if it just been by itself for the price they had it at I probably wouldn't have got it but since the memory card was in it it's $22 so not a bad deal sticks in pretty good condition it's not real loose I just had to clean it up a little it's dusty so I don't know where it's been sitting but pick that up and now let's get back to the game so we showed you MLB 21 so next I believe it's going to be 360 I said a lot of older stuff this time not a lot of new stuff at all um, just picked this up. It was cheap. It was a dollar, and I didn't have it. It has a Uno on it. Xbox Live Arcade Multi Disc. I'm hoping this thing will work without it. it says one player. So if nothing else. I got Uno offline. Which is pretty cool. So Xbox 360 Arcade Live, and Xbox he's picked up the outfit. Uh, first person shooter, running gun. So pretty cool. Um, let's pick that up. Like I said, it was cheap. And then I picked up the GoldenEye 007 remake for the Wii. So this is um, it's more than just a remaster of the original. It's a total remake. They kind of updated it, changed the uh, scenes a little bit, but you can still play through kind of the original GoldenEye on the N64. So just a little updated. Um, so I wanted to pick that up. Had a good price on it, and I'm not sure if I have it already. I may already have it, but. It's okay if I do. I just throw it in the bin for sale or trade. A lot of this stuff here is going to be sale or trade. At least when I get to the Genesis stuff. And then 
I had a lot of that, so I didn't realize, but it's okay. No biggie. Now, next up, uh, original Xbox. Uh, picked up Batman Returns. It's pretty good. Been wanting to play that one. Fear is your weapon. So I like these original Batman games. I played them on GameCube a lot. Uh, Superman Returns. So I'm hoping this is better than the N64 version. Never know. Never played it. Haven't tried it. And I picked up uh, Siberia. I don't know why, but other than I didn't have it. That's the main reason why I pick up anything, right? Because you don't have it. Uh, let's see. Next up, I guess we're going to PS2. So the PS2, I did a trade with Corio. Um, used to be mainly gaming. He's a really cool dude. Uh, put a link to the video below and check him out if you feel like it. But send me a bunch of PS2 games. Uh, Activision Anthology. They're all complete. It's got um, games from the Atari 2600 on here. And there's some soundtracks. And um, I think there's some unlockable games too. That's pretty cool. Looking forward to checking that out. Uh, racing game. Paris the Dark Hall Rally. That's a pretty cool game. Kind of like Super Off-Road and stuff like that. So, looking forward to checking that out. And this one I thought was a shooter. Turns out it's like an RPG. Um, Wild Arms 3 on PS2. So, also going to look forward to checking that out. i get some time to sit down and play it. He sent me uh, from Legacy of Cain, uh, Blood Omen 2. That's also a good one. And I swapped the case out, Corey. The case you kind of jacked up when it got here but it's not your fault that was shipping so put it in a different case but still it's gonna be a fun one to get start checking out and he sent me these two rpgs i don't know much about but i do want to play them dark cloud one and two so yep i'm gonna look forward to checking them out kind of little elf i don't know what they are one says like you go through the world one says build your own world so not sure how that works but definitely check that out Couple of thrift store pickups, um, EI Play and um, EI Groove PS2, no big deal there. And now we got a whole sticky stack of ah, PS2 games. Let's show these first because nobody don't care about these in the long run. Picked up a whole stack of Madden's, 75 cents each. Madden 2001. To 2006, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, Collector's Edition, yep, Collector's Edition 2005, just, and the other thing, they were cheap, and also make sure I just had them all, so, you can see that price, 75 cents, so Madden 6, so that's all of them, they had them all. And then we got good old, now here's some other picks that I got a little bit better. Got Chess Master on PS2, I didn't know that was on PS2. So, for some reason I'm like getting these chess games, Chess Master games, I don't know why. Uh, Kessin on PS2, pretty cool. I guess that's like a, a strategy game. I like real time, I love real time strategy games. I only picked this up because it was a dollar. Uh, Breeders' Cup, World Championship, Horse Racing, Smugglers Run 2, Hostile Territories. I bought this thinking I didn't have it, but lo and behold, I get home and I had it. So it's different from the GameCube one. There's a Smugglers Run 2 on GameCube, but it's different. Uh, Dot Hat Infection is complete uh, with the bonus DVD. That's pretty cool. I don't know what's on the bonus DVD, but um, there you go. Game book and the DVD. I said don't know what's on it but we'll find out at some point. Uh, now I just want to get it in there. There we go. Dot, net. Dot hack infection. Silent scope 2. Dark silhouettes. And sorry I'm going fast but still got a ton to get through and I want to keep the video kind of short. Guilty Gear X2 Core. I had this on the Wii. Not sure if I have this on PS2. Fun little fighting game. I always did like the Guilty Gear series. Then I picked up uh, Virtual Fighter 4 Evolution. And not sure if I had that, but it looks pretty cool. You know, I was trying to get some Virtual Fighter games in the collection. 
Bear with me one second, people. I'll be right back with you. All right, we're back. Sorry about that little delay. I'm going to edit it out. So if you saw that jump cut, that's what it was. You had to check something. All right, so where were we? Went through the PS2. Now I guess we'll go to PS1. I might be a little out of order, but whatever. Who cares? Uh, picked up uh, Bravo Air Race. I kind of like these games, you know, air racing games, airplane stuff, simulation. So Bravo Air Race, kind of, you know, racing, but with airplanes instead of cars. I don't know what that was. Uh, Smurf Racer. Uh, you know, everybody's cloning Mario Kart back in the day, so stands a the reason there's going to be one of them around. And uh, picked up, to, you know, already had these, didn't realize it. Thought maybe these were different, but uh, Gran Turismo 1 and 2, Greatest Hits and Regular Hits Edition on the original PlayStation. And as you can hear, people are just like my phone up. I don't know why. And complete my Desert Strike collection, which is what I was working on before. Picked up, and this is, I'm not going to play it, but I'm not going to sell it. Uh, EA Replay has Desert Strike, Jungle Strike, and Syndicate, and a few other EA games on here. It's pretty cool. I just bought it, though, because um, it has Jungle Strike and Desert Strike. And that way I can say I own every single copy of the Strike series on every console other than Japanese consoles, but... I have every one of them and now we're jumping to game gear i bought this one i already had it sonic 2 bought it because of the case but then i found out the case was broken so whatever that's um sonic 2 um got with the manual sonic triple trouble on game gear that's pretty cool kind of like sonic 3 then we picked up the finish off the collection Probably the most expensive one. I think it was even more than the Lynx version, but um, uh, Game Gear Urban Strike. So that finishes it off. I bought that off eBay because I, you know, never see that one in the wild anywhere. And then we got a just throw it in here. Why not? A Game Boy Color game, uh, Carrot Crazy Bugs Bunny. So pick that up. And then we got. Revolution X on the Sega Saturn. I love playing this in the arcade. So I don't know. I read some reviews. This isn't quite like that, but hopefully with the light gun and stuff is gonna be good. So we got Rev X on the Sega Saturn. And now we got a bunch of um, Super Nintendo, NES, etc. games. So let's just jump into the Super Nintendo first, and then we'll go to Sega Genesis. Or actually, nope, 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 I got a better idea. We'll do Sega Genesis first. Um, right, turn that shit. Um, NHL Hockey 93. Um, FIFA International Soccer. NHL 94, which I played the crap out of that on Super Nintendo. Me and my friends, we played that and played it. And I even bought the five-player adapter so we could all play together. Now, let's see what else we got here. I'm going to do all the loose ones first, and then I'll get into the box ones. And there are no special order whatsoever. Um, Terminator 2, the arcade game. Um, Prime time. Football, primetime NFL football, Deion Sanders. Uh, Double Dragon 5, which this one's like the two-player fighting game, similar to the Neo Geo one. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got Virtual Bart, which, you know, I love The Simpsons, so I'm going to pass on the Simpsons game when I see it. Don't see them often. Um, Animaniacs, uh, Video Games Monthly sends out a lot, but had $3 on it, so I went ahead and grabbed it and instead of waiting on him i don't know if the game's all that good but world series baseball 98 um looney tune all-stars acme all-stars this one i bought but turns out i already had it didn't realize it until i got home and checked i should have checked before because it's been laying there for a while um sonic 3 pretty decent copy of sonic 3 except for the label being ripped um Predator 2. 
been wanting to play that one check it out got it on the emulator but nice to find a real copy um, gadget twins sega genesis i'm not sure if that is part of the uh, mcdonald's series or not cal ripkin jr baseball uh, vector man that's really fun kind of a platformer x-men is probably one of my favorite sega genesis games of all time original x-men game so that one will be in the bin i've already sold another copy of it and bonkers i uh, just love the cartoon so check the game out see how it is now next on oh the box genesis games i forgot so these will be coming out of the box some are complete some aren't uh, most of them probably are not it's just game in box uh, Star Trek Next Generation Echoes from the Past uh, NHL 98 uh, Road Blasters Tejin I'll show you the inside of it So that's a Tejin game on Genesis That's pretty cool uh, Starflight Electronic Arts got the yellow tab on it This one is complete And it's kind of um it's like a real-time strategy, I think, um, RPG slash um, like RTS game. So, looking forward to checking it. And I haven't played any of these, really. I mean, I have played them before, but, you know, I haven't had a chance to get to these. Um, Toe Jam and Earl playing it on Funkatron. Just a game. I don't know why I didn't have this. I thought I did. But, uh, pick that up. I mean, those all came from the game store. Not many eBay stuff on here until now. All right, let's go. Super Nintendo. Um, first up, sorry, here Robocop versus Terminator. Pretty fine. Just did the console wars with that one. I think the Genesis versions though. Uh, Vertex. So this is one of the um, FX games. Got the FX chip in it, like Star Fox that I mentioned before in the last pick of video. So. Kind of surprised to see that in the store after I mentioned it, but there it was. So big that uh, uh, College Slam. Been seeing that. Been kind of wanting it for a while. I don't know why, but um, finally got a good deal on it. It was like two dollars. And then this one I kind of paid up a little bit for. It's like eight bucks. Uh, Dar's Twin. It's a shooter on uh, Super Nintendo, obviously. So that one's pretty cool. And then I got a huge lot, 18 games from Japan. Um, so I bought it for one specific game and then ended up having a few bonus games I didn't realize were in there in the bundle. I'll show you the major ones. Um, so this is uh, Super Adventure Island 2. That's expensive US version. And I paid like uh, $65 with free shipping for this whole box. Um, Mario and Wario. This is kind of a... like You got to use the mouse for it. It's like a point and click game. Uh, kind of like Lemmigan, so like basically Mario's walking and Wario will come by and try to kill him. He flies by in that little plane and you, you control the little fairy and you put like blocks in and Mario's walking. And uh, you just try to solve the puzzle, collect stars and get them to the end. And these are some I've been wanting. I want to try them. Uh, Super Fire Pro Wrestling Premium. Super Fire Pro Wrestling. So I didn't have these. But I love that. That one kind of got this dude look like Hulk Hogan in it. Uh, this is a golf game. Augusta Masters 2. This is the reason I bought this lot in the first place. Uh, Popeye. And this is like a... It's kind of like a board game mixed with a platformer. If that makes any sense. Um, so like you play it, there's a there's an over map, which is like a game board. And you, there's a wheel that comes up and you spin it. And it tells you how many spaces you can move. And you can move wherever you want to. And your goal, I think, is to get this. There's like stars or hearts. Get all of them, and then you go rescue um, Olive Oil at the end. Kind of fun. It's like a platformer, but not really. We got Dragon Ball Z 2, and that's like a fighting game. Um, got Mickey Mouse's uh, Circus of Mystery. I don't know if that had a U.S. release. I think it did, but you know, it was included with the lot, so. Then I got um, this baseball game. Didn't have it. Baseball something 95. Uh, what else did we get? Sorry, I'm right up in there. Oh, Ultraman. This had a U.S. release, but it's another kind of fun fighting game. It's kind of like old school Godzilla. It's got the feel to it, but it's an old game. 
but it is fun so it has a u.s release it's not expensive and then i got with this donkey kong country 2 which i already obviously have on the u.s system and then excite stage 95 which is sucker and then the rest of these um i'll just run through them real quick i don't really care about them but i'll just show you because i did pick them up uh street fighter 2 that's the original so far that's the only one out of this lot that hasn't worked um but i can probably clean it up and get it working it's also like in the worst shape so original street fighter 2 the world warriors um this game i don't know what it is it's like it's a mejong game but i don't know the name of it um this is another mejong game uh, another soccer game dragon warrior five or dragon quest five which obviously you can't really play unless you speak Japanese or get a translation pack. And then this one is Wagyu Land, Super Wagyu Land. I already have these, but it's a good platformer. It's just they messed it up with this these weird like pick stages where you gotta match, do matching and stuff like right in the middle of the platforming. So you can get through it, but it's you know kind of sloppy at first till you kind of figure out what they're saying. And um, but yeah, that was in there also. So that was kind of cool. Got a good price on all of those games. And free shipping. And it was quick too. It didn't. Only took about four or five days to get here. Which I was shocked. Um, picked up another copy. It's just a backup. Um, Captain Skyhawk. I love playing Captain Skyhawk. It's a fun game. Uh, you fly a F-14. Do kind of like these alien worlds. I uh, got Mission Impossible. Um, Ultra Games. And then found I already had it. And when I didn't have with a case. Um. Got Lunar Pool, which Video Games Monthly sent me that on the Famicom, but found it on the U.S. version. So, I finally think that's everything. We've been, been through all the games now, people. If it's not, whatever. We'll catch them on the next one or whatever. You ain't got to see everything I got. So, anyway, I thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all at the next one. Peace!